Alrighty, welcome back. We're in the paint room and uh, I've cleaned it out. It took a little last night and cleaned it out there a bit just to, to make it a little bit better. Uh, what I plan on doing today is, is putting a coat of paint, three coats of paint probably, no doubt in my mind, three coats of paint on the hood and the trunk lid of Elvis. And uh, what I have done is I've come in and washed them down a few times. I use Windex, I explain that every time, Windex, one rag to put it on nice and wet, and then I have a dry rag to dry it off and get it done good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tack cloth on this stuff because, it, you know, it's the hood and the trunk lid. I want to do the best job I can on this stuff. It's painted on the underneath, both sides, done that way, done on both sides, on the bottom side of what I'm trying to say is. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some paint on the top side and I've already decided in my brain that it's okay if I get a little dirt in it because I'm probably going to go over it again and uh, paint it all as one car before it's all said and done. I'm using a urethane. I'm using the most reasonable price paint that I can get. The reasonable price paint that I can get. And I'm just going to put three coats of paint on it and then I'll be able to put the hood and the trunk lid aside just like the garnish moldings. I've got them all put aside. They're just in the house. I'll just put these, these in a container. And uh, that way there, we'll have, we'll have them painted. And what, what I'm saying is after I paint these things, if they turn out awesome, great. If they turn out okay, okay. If they turn out with something wrong with them, well then that means when it comes time when we put the car all together and do all the fitment on it, that will be the time that I will fix it. Also, I, I, you know, if you want to do a real good job on your car, you want to do a real good job on your car, sometimes it takes painting it, painting it a couple times. You know, you paint it once, you get a little dirt in it, then you do it the second time, and then uh, maybe you can get a better job. I feel my, my bracelet scraping the hood, but basically that's what I'm doing. I'm going to paint both sides. I'm going to paint the hood and the trunk lid. I block them out with I did the the hood with an 80 grit first that's quite coarse and I guide coated it and I did it with a 220 then I did it with a 400 I'm hoping that I got all the scratches out but I'm not real concerned if I have a couple scratches because like I said when it comes time when I put the car all together I'm going to probably spray it again I'm going to sand it down and spray it again and the reason I say I'm going to do that is because I find that the primer holds more dirt than the paint does. When, when you sand that paint, it holds less dirt. Like this primer has been, been dirty the whole time, if you understand what I'm trying to say. It's been nothing but dirt. As you sand it, it's just dirty, 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 dirty. So, and it's hard to get a really nice job. Well, you can get a really nice job, done it many times, but a really nice job on spraying the, the primer but I've washed it over and over and over again. So basically what I'm saying is, it, you know, it's gonna turn out the way it turns out. I know it's, or I think it's nice and straight. I wanna see how straight it is, basically. There was a video on, that makes me smile. There's a video on me, Jolene, and Jim on Facebook, taping up the underneath of the hood. Uh, it's not an easy job to tape underneath that hood. No, it's not. But a lot of people did not like the truth. And the truth of the matter is, I was telling Jolene the truth about how to tape it up and how, how I thought it should be done. And they thought that I was very rude. It's funny how when you speak the truth, nobody likes it. To me, I would rather hear the truth than to hear something that's around the truth. Um, the quickest form of what of communication is the truth. That's the quickest form of, of communication is the truth. And I am, I try to generally tell the truth full time. And I hope that you notice that when I'm, when I'm talking to you. When I, when I say that no one no one's painting bare metal cars well that's the truth when i say that everybody generally fills their cars out that's the truth um, people that don't like that don't like the truth and it's funny how people that tell the truth sometimes get ridiculed and uh, 
I'd rather the truth any day over than sugarcoating or fibbing or lying or, or trickery of something. Let's go out and mix some paint. I, I'd like it if Jolene told me the truth. And I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Jolene looks amazing today. She looks amazing. Straightened her hair. Looks all beautiful this morning. She did. All right, everything's looking pretty good. Let's go out and mix some paint. I got it pretty calm in here today. I, I did that last night. Um, Why Jolene was in the house, I did that. Fina's having fun today, roaming around. We're going to shake the paint up. And basically on this, what I'm saying is, is I'm going to spray it with, with the idea that it's okay if I get a little bit of dirt in it, whatever. I'm just going to plop the hood aside and the trunk lid aside, just like the dash and the garnish molds. I'm going to plop everything aside. When it comes time to put the car together, then that's when we'll go for um, the best we can. But I'm just trying to paint some stuff to get some stuff out of the way. We're doing Clipsal Coral today. Yes, we are. We're doing Clipsal Coral today. It's four, two, one. I've got the hood and the trunk lid. I'm going to use. I'm going to use this gun. I'm going to use the big gun. We're going to be spraying at big pressure, or the biggest pressure that the gun will allow without the pattern screwing up. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Alrighty, it's four, two, one. So basically, what I've got, I got a little stick here. It says four, one, two, four parts paint. So I'm going to go to three on that. On the one part is a hardener, I'll go to three on that. And the two parts urethane or the reducer, I'll go three on that. So you just keep following the following the stick. Pretty basic stuff. Alrighty. I don't know if I should have my glasses on. Let's go to three on the stick. And the reason I didn't mix it in the cup because it didn't have the that doesn't look the same color, does it? Looks a little orangier, doesn't it? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Doesn't it? It's not starting off so good already, is it? And what I did is I got a gallon of it mixed up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it and throw it in the shaker for a second. Oh, better put that paint back in there, hadn't I? That's not, um, I don't know what to say. That's not making me happy right at the present second. I bought a gallon of it, so when we paint everything, um, we would get it all the same color. Um, you know, that'd be, that'd be a good thing to get it all the same color. But I did buy a quart of it just to paint some stuff to make it look, or to make see if I like the color or not. I bought a quart of it. But, uh, let's put it in the shaker. I'm going to open this one. I got them to split it up so when I paint, I wouldn't have a full gallon of paint that I'd be spilling everywhere. So I've got them to put it in two cans. Let's just take a look at this one. I'm going to spray it no matter what. I got the paint. I'm going to use it. Like I said, if there's any problems, we'll, we'll fix it after. That looks better, don't it? Huh? Looks better than that one. Looks orangey, don't it? We'll see.
We'll see. Do it again. We'll just spray it. You know, what the hay? What the hay? Like I said, probably gonna end up spraying everything again, anyways. See what happens. I'm using clear coat hardener. Uh, they have a, a hardener for the urethane, but I like using the clear coat hardener. I'm thinking that it performs a little bit better. That's what I'm thinking. I can't say for sure, but I think it does. Going to three on the one. Some reducer. Just lost in thought here, but that paint, basically what I am, I'm lost in thought on that paint. I'm hoping that it's the same color. It looks so orange, don't it? Does it look different to you? What's that? Does that color over there look different than that color? I wonder why. Maybe I should, I don't know, I don't know. It just looks a different color. I don't know what to say. I'm thinking that they mixed it all one gallon and then dumped it. But then again, I have no idea. No idea. What I'll do is, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to spray this paint on it. We'll probably need another one of those. And I'll take it out of that gallon. Huh? And I'll write underlay, overlay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It might turn out all right. I might be just being, oh, it's looking good there now. I, guess, I, don't know, just, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. And that's one thing probably a person should do. If you're going to paint your car, you should buy all the paint for everything the one time. It's just that I had the court, and I just wanted to see if I liked it or not, and I painted the dash, the garnish moldings, and the underneath of the stuff. So now I liked it, so I bought a gallon of it. So here I am. Well, that won't be so bad. The other stuff's underneath. This is on top. <laughs> we'll see. Just going to run this out for now. I still got my poopy fan. Still got my poopy fan. Uh, we're going to go for it. We bought another one. Just haven't had the weather to put it in. We're snowing again today. Hard to believe, I know. <laughs> Isn't it, baby? Why? Hard to believe. I watched the video last night at Jim's place when we took his gift to him. I laughed, I laughed, I laughed. He made me laugh. And uh, that's why I enjoy Jim so much. I, I enjoy his honesty, and I like to the way he says things. It makes me laugh. And uh, I, had, I had a good time visiting him yesterday. It was good. Um, what did he, he say? He said he takes much pride in doing less. It takes much pride in less to do. Right on, Jimbo. Right on. I take much pride in less to do. I would never have thought of saying it that way, but <laughs> funny. Mm -hmm. And then when he had me holding the engine cover. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you can let that go. <laughs> Made me laugh. It's always good for a visit when I go visit Jimbo. I enjoy his honesty. I really do. Geez, that looks orange, don't it? Come on, man. Don't be like that. Come around, man. I don't like that orangey look. Especially when we're painting. What we're doing. Let's get it on here. Haven't painted in the paint room for a while. And what I'm going to say is, is that the shop hasn't been cleaned out for a while. And uh, we're going to get what we get. <laughs> that we are. We're going to get what we get. What I mean by that is, is that I've cleaned it up as good as I feel like I need to, for now. 
and then uh, we'll go from there. All righty. Got a mask. Baby's got a mask on. Let's put a mask on. I've got the tack rag is still in there. So I'm going to go in there and we're going to spray the hood and the trunk lid. Let's go for it. Yeah, it looks like coming. Yeah, we're going to be fine. I should turn the air compressor on. Helps with the air compressor. Got my clickers on. I'm going to put this down for a second. Nope, I'm not going to tack right that again. I have to.
gonna try the trumpet first. Well, they're smooth, they're straight. Got a little bit of, I see a little bit of light, a light dust sitting on it. Basically, you can't do much about that right at the present moment. And I basically knew with, with the paint room that I have and I, what I got going on, I was gonna get some of that, but everything turning out quite nice. Um, there's no, nothing that stood out at me. Uh, I probably should have cleaned the gun uh, before I took it in there and went for that. Probably. It's just a matter of that. Let's take it off now. Just going to wait for a little bit. Let it clear out. And uh, wait for the paint to dry a little. Basically. That's nothing. Other than that, everything looks really nice, you know, doesn't it? Looks really nice. Nice and straight and flat and smooth. Uh, we have to remember, well you don't have to remember. So what I what I just trying to recall is I welded a hood on top of the other hood. So there was there's major work going on there. It looks fantastic. Uh, the trunk lid has been smoothened off, so there the trunk there was a 
piece of chrome went on the back of there. There was a door lock or a trunk lit lock on the back of there that's all been taken off, that's smoothed off. Looks really nice, no, no issues there. I don't see no scratches jumping out at me. Uh, we've got to remember we started with an 80 grit and went all the way to a four, 400 grit. And the reason that we're, I think we're able to do that and not have any problems or any issues is because of the guide coat. Well, I know it is because of the guide coat. Uh, my me eyes aren't that good, so. My eyes aren't that good. Yeah, so anybody wants to go on Facebook and see, see Jolene and, and Jim taping up the car and see me acting, as far as I'm concerned, normal, um, go on Facebook and take a look. Make your judgment. Do you like the truth? Or would you like someone to fib you and say it's okay, it's pretty, it's good enough, or whatever? You have to ask yourself that sort of thing. Um, I'd rather the truth. When, jo when I talk to Jolene, um, Jolene knows I'm telling her the truth. It's qu it'd be quite, um, it'd be quite, what can I say, refreshing um, to know that when your partner is talking to you, they're telling you the truth. Uh, the problem I have with miscommunication is that when do you jump back on when you realize that someone's not being truthful? When, when do you jump back on and start believing them? Like, is it something that you just overcome or is it something that you just do? Is it something you just accept? Um, basically, what I, where I'm at, me and Jolene are at, we, we are very truthful with each other and it makes good communication for a good relationship. Basically, that's about the end of it. Um, those who do not like the truth, you're, you're not, you're, you, don't, you don't want to accept reality. Basically, that's all I think, that's how I think. And uh, sometimes the way I think is not always right, that's for sure, but at least I'm truthful. You know? I think truth prevails. What, what's the old thing on the old memes on Facebook? When you tell the truth, you generally become hated. <laughs> and you know what? I, I'd still rather tell the truth. I'd still rather tell the truth. And that's why we do the, like, we do the videos and I, we, that's why we do the videos is because when it comes time, when, you know, when you weld up your car and you see, you know, see people with these cars and they're all in bare metal and they make you believe that they're not putting no body fill on them, well, shame on them. The truth of the matter is, is that every car that's welded up gets filler put on it. That's the truth of the matter. And um, I'm here to let you know the truth, basically, I let you know the truth. And I hope that most of you would appreciate that I do that because there's no one out there, you know, any doing anything different than anybody else. It's nice to have something to compare to, to know if you're doing okay, if you're doing it right. And I'm here for the guy that wants to build the car. So if you feel, if you're putting body filler on your car and your metal work is not perfect, you must understand that neither is anybody else's body work and, and metal work perfect nobody is painting bare metal it goes after it does the metal work it goes to the body shop i've seen many many people oh no mud in my shit bullshit <laughs> bullshit <laughs> hate me if you like but it's you're not you're not telling the truth basically the truth coming out today hey baby yeah so it's just kind of yeah i just i I'm a, I'm a truth teller, and uh, I would hope that someone would appreciate that, but I, I realize that people do not appreciate it. Some people, it rocks their, um, their foundation. You know, I'm not into wrestling. I don't watch WWF. But I realize, what I realized when we did TV, that W, like, when, you know, when you do TV, you realize a bunch of things that you never realized before. Um, it matters what your ratings are if you're if you're going to be on TV. It really does. It matters what the ratings are, and and when you understand what the ratings are, when you go on there and take a look what the ratings are, when wrestling, the ratings are way higher than anything else. It lets you know that most people would rather not watch reality, the truth. That's the way it is. I, wrestling has humongous amounts of um, views and whatever which brings in money when it comes to TV when you have big ratings it becomes big money wrestling has big ratings and you must ask yourself is there that many people in the world 
that would not would like to watch non-reality. I think that I don't know what to say. Um, I, I would like to see a little more reality come back into into the world, and uh, I tell the truth. I'm not into wrestling. I'm into UFC. I, I'd rather um, the real than the fake. And that's what I do every day here. I show you the real. <laughs> the real who we are, what we do, everything. I do not misguide or mislead anybody. Love me or hate me, that's the truth. Hey, baby, that's the truth. Trunk, the trunk lid is nice, but the hood's got a little bit of dirt in it. And that's the truth. So I'm just going to wait for a little bit. The fan is hauling hard there. Um, I, I didn't really have anything to touch on it, so I'm just going to wait for a little bit. I should have touched it. I'll right back. I'm going to touch it somewhere. It's, it's close. I'm going to put the rest of the paint in that, get geared up. We'll go and put another coat on it. I can't see it going anywhere. We're going to have to mix some more paint. And I'm not, and I'm not going to go into the other gallon. Frigate, frigate, frigate. I'm not going into the other gallon. And the reason being is, why would I? should be the same. Just fooling myself. Now, I probably should mix more paint. I'm going to throw that aside. We'll mix some more paint and that way there gives a little more time. I don't know about you, but I can't stand being lied to. And that's why I decided that I like the truth. someone lies to me it makes me feel like they think I'm stupid and uh, I feel like I'm far from that <laughs> oh damn it just trying to see that three And when I say I think Jolene looks amazing, I hope she knows I'm telling the truth. Because I am. Just going to fill that up because I do not want to run out of paint painting either the trunk or the hood. I'm looking like in there like there's something in there. Oh, I just want to try it. Oh, having a hard time right the second. And that's the truth. Less to remember too. It's, e it's easy to tell you what I'm doing 
at full time because I, that's I, that's what I practice. You got the door? Put it on nice and heavy. Whatever little bit of dirt is in there, we'll flood it to the top and hopefully it'll be easier to sand out. Basically, do we want to keep going to the last coat? Want to keep going to the last coat? We're going to keep going to the last coat, boys. Hang with us, hang with us. We're going to let it dry for a little bit. We're going to, we got. Ooh, I put the paint, I put in there, put a, a full gun full on that. Last time I put half a gun full. This time I pulled the pattern down a little bit, put a little more paint on it. And did I ever drench it? Woo, put in there a full gun full. Woo. Did I ever pour the paint on her? We got enough for a full gun left there. Just going to go and take a look at it. Trying to get her to lay out.
One thing I will say, it's laser straight. Laser. It looks the same color. I'm just overreacting there a little bit. Kind of got me shaking up and got looked a little different. It has got fine particles of dirt in it. Yes, it does. And I told myself I was going to be okay with that. I am okay with it. The panel, the trunk lid, and the hood look laser straight. I have no issues with the with the bodywork whatsoever. I don't see any scratches or anything like that in it, so I'm very satisfied with it. Basically, what I'll do is I'll leave it in there probably for a couple days, and then we'll take the hood and the trunk lid out, and we'll throw it in a container. Then the hood and the trunk lid has got some paint on it, you know what I mean? Like, I can leave it outdoors, I can whatever. I can lay it around. When I get the car paint, I get inside, the, inside here done. I can throw some paint on the car. I might even paint... The car in pieces i might paint the doors and, and then put them put them aside i might do that i'm not sure and then when i'm all done getting paint on everything because it's a big job to put you know to paint the inside the doors the inside of the hood um, in around the trunk lid the fender skirts all the lips inside so basically i i know in my brain i've already decided that i got two or three paint jobs going on watch yourself sweetheart get your stuff behind you so I might take the doors off and, and paint that. I'm not, there's no sense putting them back on. I just will take them off and paint them. I will put them back on the end, obviously. But <clears throat> I've got a lot of paint work to do. So I'm just going to paint everything. And then when I get it all put together, if I get some scratches in it, if I get some picks in it, get some nicks in it, uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll do it then, once I get it all together. Once I get all the paint around the inside, all the paint around the inside the trunk lid, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I've yet to got to take the, the bumper off yet. I still got to take that off and weld up the seams in that. And the reason I want to weld up the seams in it, I thought about it myself. If I don't weld up the seams in it, then that means they got to take the bumper apart. And that means they're going to have three, one, two, they're going to have three pieces to chrome instead of one. So if I make it a one piece bumper, it's over. It's a one piece bumper, it's done. If I take it in the way it is now, they'll take that bottom piece off, chrome it, which they should, take the other piece on the other side and chrome it, and the bumper. So that means I'd have three pieces. It means more work, obviously. To me, it does. So that's what I'm going to do. I really dumped the paint on that, that last time. And the reason being is because I want lots of paint on it because I'm going to probably end up sanding it down again in the end to paint it. Jimbo was funny yesterday. Wow, Jimmy was funny. <laughs> wow, just he's funny. I, I really enjoy his honesty and I enjoy the way he talks and says things. And uh, I really do. We both do. We both do. It's snowing. If I didn't tell you already, it's snowing again here today. It's, it's just so hard. I really would like to, like, you know, not say hard. It would be nice to move that car outside that I chopped. We can't get the doors open yet. Uh, it would be nice to build a table for Jolene's car. I can't do that yet. Every time I go to sand on the car, it just causes more dirt in the shop for the paint room, for everything. If I take the engine out of the car, then I got it on the floor in the way again. You know, sometimes it gets a bit much. When, when, when the weather becomes good, then a few things can go outside and we can get a fresh breath of air and get things cleaned up a little bit. Not complaining. I'm just impatient. Well, I'll complain a little bit. We only complain for five minutes and then we shut it off. No more complaining for five minutes. You five minutes complaining, that's enough. That's enough. That right, baby. You want me to turn the camera on you? Nope. She said, nope. I got a mask on, a hat on. Nope. We'll put another coat of paint on that. And I'll be happy that that's painted. And then I'll set that stuff aside. Maybe we'll paint some doors, paint some stuff. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I might get Jim back over to help me. I probably, what I'm thinking about doing is, is getting the engine taken out of this bad boy because... I'd like to leave it in there because I have to, I want to do the exhaust system with the motor and the chassis, but I'm going to end up taking the body off anyways because the underneath of this car is this color. I want it, no, I want it white, do I not? I'm painting the bottom of it white, I think, so I'm going to end up changing this color here on the bottom. It's all painted pink on the bottom. I don't want, I don't want that color. I'm changing it. So I take it back off, but I'd really like to just leave the engine in there and then I could do the exhaust and do the body all at once, but it's holding me up more or less, so I'm probably going to end up taking the engine out and try to do underneath the hood and get that painted up. You know, do a little painting. Once it's painted, then I can say it's painted. 
Uh, when it's painted, then it's just a matter if I have to do anything or fix anything. It's just a matter of sanding it and re recoating it. It's, it. The body work is done. Uh, if I leave the engine in there, I can't get all that stuff and get that dealt with. There's a lot of things that I have to deal with that I have to, I need the hoist to get things off and on. What I think I might do this summer is maybe try to cover the hoist over so it cannot slow me down when I want to do something like that. Looks good, color looks good. It's hard to go in and look at a paint job and, and see dirt in it, it's hard. Even though I realized that it was gonna get dirt in it, it's hard. But I'm gonna end up throwing it out in the container anyways and buffing it off and painting it all. I keep explaining that to myself, I'm explaining that to myself. Just have to accept it, that's all. I, uh, what's that? Oh, the car show. Uh, the Toronto Autorama is April 29th to May 1st. And we are going to be there. If you want to come meet us, um, come meet us. We'll talk to you. And uh, we're, we're actually, Joni's got a new shirt that she's making. I think she showed it on the computer. And she's going to have that for sale. And she's going to try to price it right so everybody can enjoy it if they want it. And we will be there to sign it and sell it to you or whatever. It, obviously, it costs us something to make it. So we got to have some of our money back. This is actually, I'll just talk over the car. As I got this color here, uh, this color here is on top of the car. I think I showed what, how I'm going to paint it. I think it's still there yet. I'm not sure. I can change it any time. But as I got this going to be Clipso Coral up here, these panels here underneath the hood, I have decided, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do all Clipso Coral inside here, all inside the, the cowl and around there. When these panels go on, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking where, where I've got this outlined here. It's not the straightest in some places. It's not the straightest. And let's, let's, let's face it, it bead rolled, it's by eye. But anyways, this is what I'm thinking about doing. When I tape it off, I will tape it straight so it looks straight. Not going to end up, not going to fill any of that out or anything. Not going to put any fill in this thing. Because the reason is because it just takes time. I don't feel it's necessary. And I think I can fool the eye with taping it off. So what I'm going to actually do is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this outside here black. And I'm going to paint in, inside here white. And then we'll probably pinstripe it with the Clipso curl, Coral. So white in here where the louvers are. Black out here where it's lifted up. But when I tape it off, I will tape it off so the lines are straight. So it'll fool your eye. So when you look in there, wow. So this will be... This will be black around here on the outside edge, black on the outside edge, white in here, white inside here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the shaker yet. That could be any color. It could be black, could be Clipso Coral, could be anything. But that's how I think I'm going to do it. So underneath the hood, excuse me, underneath the hood, when you lift the hood, it's going to be Clipso Coral all the way around here. And then the, the louvers and, and the whatever there is going to be black and white, which I think will pop when you open the hood. And we'll tape all the bead rolled lines so they're straight, so it looks straight. And then when we pinstripe it in Clipso Coral, it'll look straight. And then that way there we have to do no body work to the bead roller. That's my idea. I'm going to go and check the... Still a little sticky yet. Still a little sticky yet. Do not want to spray it sticky. I just want to hold off a little bit. I want to be able to touch it and not be sticky because just don't. You have a chance of things going south when things are not dry. 
I like to have it dry to the touch. Now, if I took my finger and went like that, I could get my finger wet, yes, but just to touch it so it does not come off. The old fan pulls the cold air in through the shop, you know, every, we got holes up and around the doors. See up in the top of the doors here? Up in top of the doors, the windows, you can see the holes up there. You can, I don't know if you can through your camera or not, but there's holes up there on top of the doors, holes between the doors, holes down the bottom of the doors. When the fan's on, it sure does suck the cold air in, doesn't it, baby? You can sure feel it. I'm thinking I've got enough paint to do one more coat, and I put that second coat on real heavy, so we'll we'll put another coat on and, and do a good job at that one too. What you think, Fiend Bean? I'd pat you, but I get dog's hairs in there. I got enough dirt in that, that stuff in there. Haven't got the, the best of paint room, that's for sure, but we're doing the best we can with what we have, and that's what I suggest you do, the best you can with what you have. Be satisfied. It's like Jim said, when, you, when, when it doesn't become perfect, then you just lower your standards a little bit, <laughs> right? Just lower your standards a little bit, and you can put up with what you have to put up with. Hi, Fina. I'm sorry for talking to you. I know you want me to pat you. It's just, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I'll have dog hairs in the paint. Don't want to do that. I'm going in and check one more time. Just hoping it for it to dry. I'm going to go for it. Fina getting some time? Oh, that looks good on you, Fina. Fina get some star time. Paint looks good. I was just a little nervous of the orangey look to it, but we're fine. Just enough paint for another coat. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. And that's the truth. Take a look here, how nice them look, how straight they look.
see a little paint on your nose right there, sweetheart. <laughs> there you go. We got some paint on the hood and the trunk lid. Um, I'm very, ha I'm very happy with the way they look. Very happy the way they look. Very flat, smooth, shiny. A little bit of dirt. Um, but I'm happy with the, what they look like. There, there's no dents. There's no scratches. Um, everything's laser straight. That's what I want it, laser straight. So what we'll do is we'll just keep painting stuff, keep painting stuff in the end, then we'll sand her all down and put one nice paint job on it. We'll clean her up real good. Uh, Jolene looks amazing today. Thanks for following. And uh, truth is the quickest form of communication. And uh, if we can get to that truth thing and, and not be our, get our feelings hurt, how, how good would life be then, you know what I mean? There's no sense getting offended by something that is the truth. Um, basically, you take it, you, you go with it, you learn from it, and um, yeah, then we all can, you know, be happy. Have a good one, everybody. See you tomorrow. Oh, we got to give away a hat or shirt. Sorry about that. We're going to give away a hat or shirt. It's hard to believe, you know, Let's take a look outside just to show what's going on today. More snow. And uh, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Happy with the color. Happy with the color. It's going to look amazing on, on the car. I can feel the cold air coming in just from the fan right from that door. It just sucks. Not not the door, the fan. Four hundred and four comments. We thank you very much. We appreciate it. The more you comment. The more chance you have a chance to win, you can comment more than once. Dave Hickey, he's won before, has he not? Dave Hickey, you've won a shirt or a hat of your choice because you took the time to write in a comment. Jim and Chad, nothing like having a good friend. You got that right. Jim's my earth angel, and I enjoy him because he tells the, me the truth, and uh, there's no games played. Um, he's, he's funny. He's um, eccentric. He's different, and he's a good friend of mine and Jolene's both. We both enjoy him very much. We probably would like to him to come over at least once or twice a week or go there once or twice a week to get him more involved in what we're doing, and we'll see what happens. We'll see you tomorrow, and I uh, hope you like my truth. <laughs>